Rangers lineup brought to you by Hyundai, Semyon and Seeger, the two big free agent signings from two winners ago, both having themselves phenomenal years. Seeger stealthily might be the second best player in the American League behind Shohei Otani. He just uh, hasn't enough games to qualify for the league leaders because he was out on the IL a couple of times. And it's this powerful Texas lineup leading the American League in runs scored that McGill will face tonight. Out to right field, Stewart will have to give ground, and he reaches up and makes the catch right at the edge of the warning track for a loud first down off the bat of semi. 3-2 coming, and he takes a fastball for strike three call. Seager must have been looking for something else. Took the 98-mile-an-hour fastball, and that's lined the other way, a base hit for Lowe. So he came with a fastball on 0-2, got too much of the plate with it, and Lowe has the first hit of the night. Garcia hits the three hopper to sec to short and Lindor gets to play at second and that retires the side a hit and one left and that's come to bat no score Vientos the second game back from a wrist inflammation in the lineup at third base Ortega who had the walk off last night all of them going up against 31 year old John Gray and Nimmo goes down swinging good slider by Gray for the first out. And Lindor strikes out on the high hard one, 98 upstairs from Gray. And McNeil flies one out to right. Gar Garcia is there. And that retires the side. One, two, three for Gray, no score after one. And the curveball in there, strike three called. McGill dropped a hammer on Martinez for his second strikeout. Three, two. And that's in there for a call strike three. Got him looking at a fastball. Third strikeout from McGill, all on call third strikes. No score in the second. 0-2 to Alonzo, and he struck him out. Good slider there by Gray for his third strikeout. And his first four batters, we mentioned his strikeout numbers are the down. Way they wanted it to go. Swing and a miss, and Stewart's down on strikes, and Gray's off to a hot start. Six up, six down with four strikeouts. Duran, a jack of all trades, lines one to left, and another play for Ortega, who makes the sliding catch. That's two bullets that have been hit Ortega's way. That was a little tougher play for the first out in the third. And a good breaking ball by McGill. It's a second strikeout he's gotten on his curveball. His fourth strikeout first time through the batting order. Now Semi in lines one to left. On comes Ortega again. And he slides and he caught it. He did. Rafael Ortega with a couple of fine plays. Each one better than the one before. Narvaez, a little floater into shallow right center, and that's going to drop for a base hit. So Narvaez found the right spot, but everybody thinks that yeah. you wore it all the time because they see those pictures of you as Vientos goes down swinging on a high slider, and that's five strikeouts for Gray, one out of the third. <laughs> that's lined the other way by Ortega, but that's right at Martinez, so turnabout fair play, liner Right to the left fielder, Narvaez at first, and he smashes one to deep right field. Forget that. Brandon Nimmo unloads a two-run homer. That snaps his 0-for-21 stretch, and it snaps a scoreless tie tonight. 2 nothing, New York. Number 19 for Nimmo. He breaks his slump with authority, and the Mets have the early lead. That's a fly ball hit to right, and Garcia, plenty of room as he eases back. That retires Lindor and ends the inning, but Nemo's two-run homer puts the Mets up 2-0 after three. Corey Seager leading off in the top of the fourth, and he smashes one up the middle for a base hit. So Seager picks up the second Texas hit of the night, a leadoff single against McGill in the fourth. Deep at bats because the, the stuff is just so wipeout. Speaking of stuff, there's a strikeout right there. Seager at first, seventh pitch to Garcia, and a swing and a miss, getting right back with the changeup to strike out Garcia. That's six Ks now for McGill, one shy of his season high. And the curveball in for another call third strike. He has confounded them with his curveball. Seven strikeouts matching his season high. I, I, yes, I, I am, and I get, um, I get checks from four... And Vogelbach strikes out on the high fastball. That's seven Ks for Gray, matching McGill. And it's a little bit low, ball four, and Heim is on with McGill's first walk of the night. 
That's drilled out to left center. Back in the gap goes Ortega. And he gets there to make the catch. Ball hung up. Duran is retired. Two out. You need that light at the end of the tunnel that you can shoot for. Demo makes the grab to retire Tavares. Five scoreless for McGill halfway through. Two nothing. As Stewart gets one in the air to deep right center. Back near the wall. Tavares watches it go. Home run. D.J. Stewart with his seventh home run. And the Mets have another long ball against John Gray. 3-0 New York. D.J. Stewart, six home runs in his last 12 games, fully taking advantage of the opportunity presented to him. And Mark lifts one to right. That's pretty well hit. Back goes Garcia onto the warning track and he'll make the catch. Pulled to first, past the glove of low and down the line. It hits the sidewall, and Ortega will have to stop it first against the arm of Garcia. So Ortega hits another bullet. There goes Ortega, the throw by Heim, a little bit high, and Ortega's got the steal, his fifth of the year. And the Mets' 94th stolen base. They've only been thrown out 11 times. And Nimmo takes ball four, 3 2 slider. And so Gray will face Lindor with two men on. And Lindor bounces one over the mound. In comes Seeger to grab it. And throws out Lindor to win the inning. Mets had a run on the Stewart home run. 3 0 after five. And that's lined the other way. A base hit for Semyon. Chase toward the corner. Stewart can't cut it off. And Semyon will go to second base with a leadoff double. First extra base hit of the night for the Rangers. Seeger at a base at the center, and he nubs one up the end of the bat, and Vientos will have to put that in his pocket. Well, he doesn't, but Seeger's got an infield hit. Semyon thought about going to third with nobody covering the bag. There's no reason for Vientos to throw that ball. And Lowe hits a ground ball. Lindor has got it. Steps on the bag, throws to first. Double play. Just what McGill needed. Lindor with the tippy toe to second base with a 6 6 3 double play, two out. And Garcia laces one to right over toward the gap goes Stewart. He won't get there. It's up the gap into the wall. Semyon's in with the first Texas run. Garcia drives in his 95th run of the year with a lacing double to right center. And the Met lead is cut to 3 to 1. Struck him out. Tyler McGill finishes with a flourish. His eighth strikeout to Strand Garcia. He slaps one down to third, and Duran playing in. Throws him out, one away. And Pete goes down swinging on the slider. So three pitches, and Alonzo's fan for the second time today. That's eight now for Gray. And Gray makes quick work of the Mets in the sixth. Seven pitches for a 1 2 3 inning. Nine strikeouts for Gray. Uh, just so great to see him back on a mound. Um, when he, we first saw him, he was so valuable a couple of seasons ago. And Reed Foley goes upstairs to get him with a fastball. So after McGill struck out eight and six innings, St. Louis before he got hurt. That's lined toward the middle, and Heim's got a base hit. So Jonah Heim on base for the second time, a one out single, the sixth hit of the night for Texas. And he hits one on the ground to McNeil. Easy hop for Jeff. Side retired. Reed Foley with another successful inning. That's lead 3 1 of the seven. So in back to back days, we've seen David Peterson and Tyler McGill each turn in arguably their best start of the season. And he gets nicked by the pitch, and the Mets have a base runner. So Perez coming inside to Stewart a couple of times in that at bat and ultimately hits him. And now Narvaez bunting. Keeps it fair along the grass. Heim with the throw and gets him at first. Beautifully executed. 1 2 coming to Vientos. And he hits one toward the right side. To his left goes Semyon to run it down. And he throws out Vientos for the second out as Stewart moves over to third. And strike three call a fastball at the knees to get Ortega to end the inning. Jonathan Arauz in to play third base. Brooks Raley will face the top of the batting order in the eighth. Yeah, good move here. That's line past Raley, but there's McNeil, the backhanded right behind the bag, and throw out Semyon. McNeil positioned well, but also a neat pickup on the backhand for the first out. 0-2 coming. 
And he lights one down the right field line, and that's going to land fair and bounce into the corner. Bounces around on Stewart. Seeger's going to take a turn and stop. He had already broken down and then tried to restart, but it was too late. So Seeger's got his third hit of the night. It's 35th double of the year. 3 1 coming. And that's inside ball four. And now the tying runs are on base for the Rangers. And here comes Buck Showalter. And he'll bring Coonrod into the game to face Garcia. Coonrod has been awfully good so far in his limited stay. 3 1 coming. And it's well outside ball four, and the bases are loaded. So Raley walks his last batter. Coonrod walks his first batter. Ground into second. Chance for two, maybe. McNeil gets the out at second, and that's all. Not hit hard enough to turn a double play. Seeger comes home to make it three to two, New York. One two coming. Jankowski runs. It's hit in the air to center field. Shallow. In comes Nimmo. He's there. Side retire. Rangers get an unearned run, but no more. 3 2 New York in the eighth. Nimmo flies one to shallow left. And Martinez is there. One out. Perez ahead of him, one and two, and he strikes him out with a fastball up and away. And so Lindor's hitting streak likely has come to an end at 13. And it's punched to the right side and picked out of the air by low. And that retires the side. We go to the ninth. Trevor got on for the save. Three, two Mets. August is a good month for Gott. Got his first Met save 10 days ago in St. Louis, which was his first save since August of 2020 when he was with San Francisco. And Heim hits a smash through the hole on the first pitch thrown by Gott. And just like that, the Rangers have the tying run aboard. So Haim has his second hit of the night, and now we'll get a pinch runner for him. Again, the 0-2, and he strokes one to right center field. That's a base hit. That's going to go toward the gap. Cut off by Nilo deep. Going to third is Smith, and sliding in safely at second is Duran. And the Rangers of the tying and go-ahead runs in scoring position with nobody out. Ezekiel Duran with his 20th double of the year. 3 2 coming. Struck him out. Got went with the cutter on 3 and 2, and he strikes out Tavares for the first down. Still plenty of work left to do. 2 2 coming. Struck him out. Big time strikeout for Trevor Gott. Now there are two away, and now if you're Buck Showalter, do you walk Seeger? And Buck has already pointed to first base. Seeger's going to get the intentional pass. They'll deal with Nathaniel Lowe instead. 2 1 coming. And he pulls it through the whole base hit. In to score is Smith. Duran coming to the plate. The slide. He's safe. And the Rangers take the lead. Down to their final out. Nathaniel Lowe drives in a pair. And it's 4 to 3, Texas. And he struck him out. Third strikeout in the inning for Gott, but not before the Rangers grab the lead. A two-out, two-run single by Nathaniel Lowe, and it's 4-3 Texas. Jose Leclerc at one time a closer yeah. for Texas, but not anymore. They've got dual closers these days in Will Smith and Araldis Chapman, but it's Leclerc who gets the night. 2-2 from Leclerc. And he struck him out with a slider. So Leclerc strikes out Alonzo, fans for the third time today. One out. 0 2 coming. And Vogelback takes strike three call. He observed three in a row, and he's down on strikes. And the Mets are down to their final out. 3 1 coming from Leclerc. And that's away, ball four, and the Mets have light. And Mendick is going to run for Alvarez at first base. Well, they didn't want any part. Of the power of the young Alvarez. So it's on the shoulders of Narvaez. And Narvaez strokes one to right. Back goes Garcia, though, to make the catch and end the ball game. Narvaez hit the tar out of it, but Garcia playing deep was in the right spot and grabs it to end the game. Bullet didn't get it high enough. The line drive caught nicely by Garcia in right field.